Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on adding multiple images to your Google site page. Well, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty easy to add an image, but challenging when you add multiple images to a page. Got a couple suggestions for you. Uh, you may want to consider going to your layout, uh, and when you go to your layout, you're going to be able to create multiple layout columns. So maybe a three column page and working with that. That's not something you haven't worked with probably. You may want to consider using a table and putting those images in the cell of the table and organizing that accordingly. And if you do choose that method, you can actually go into this link here and uh, remove the borders. It gets a little geeky, but I think you can do it. But the one I've uh, recently run across is a very interesting option that I'd like to share here today with you in particular is uh, using a Google folder uh, to display on your site. And I've been really happy with the way that has aligned and made that more visually appealing. So let's take a look at how that works. First of all, I'm going to click over here to this page and just show you what happens when I take a folder and place it on a Google site page. Here we have a, a single column layout on the page and my images are displayed uh, nicely uh, in order and the name of the image will display of course and I can go in here and I can click on an image and it will enlarge that image. Well, how do I get that to happen? Well, first of all, we need to start in your Google Drive. When you're in your Google Drive, you'll want to create a new folder for those particular images. So I have done that and I've named it the New York Pics. Now before you start bringing those images up, or even afterwards if you forget, I would recommend that you go into the sharing settings of that particular folder. As you can see, I'm moving through there now. And make sure that the visibility of that folder is set to anyone with the link uh, can view. Now, you certainly can go public on the web. That would make that folder searchable. But if you don't want it searchable, be sure to go anyone with the link. Because you're going to take that folder on a public website, that is critical that you have that change. So keep it to view and save. Now I'll just close that down. Now once I'm in that folder, New York Picks, it's just a matter of going to my upload button and uploading the images that I want in that particular folder. And by the way, if those images do not have a proper identification name, you're going to be able to go into that, give it a little click, go to more, and then you can rename the file. So if it doesn't say what you want it to say, you can have it changed there. There we go. We're ready to go. Once we have that set up in our Google Drive, we're going to be able to work with our site. So here we go. I'm going to go back to this site and just do a little editing here. And I'm just going to remove that as I would remove any other gadget or image. I'm going to place the cursor where I want that folder to start displaying. Go to my Insert menu. And I'll work my way over to my Google Drive and select Folder. It's going to go back into my Google Drive and look for all my folders, and there's my New York Picks. I'll select that, and then click on Select. Now here is a really critical point right here. You can rename that if you'd like. You can even change some of the viewing pixel display areas if you wish. But be sure that you click on Grid rather than List. It's going to nicely display your pictures uh, in a grid form and align them for you. Click on Save. Uh, align it the way that you want. I'll just center align in this page. Be sure to save your page so you can see what it's actually going to look like. And there are the pictures. Now, if you don't want a scroll bar, you're going to have to go back into the gadget and change that setting. Let me just demonstrate that for you. I'll click on Edit Page, come back into the folder gadget, Go to my properties and this is where you would change the height based on the number of pictures that are in that folder that's an individual setting you can tweak and play around with so we'll click and we'll we'll save that so adding multiple images uh, to a google page now if you've got some other ideas uh, uh, be sure to let me know and uh, shoot me a little email in my contact box happy to add that to my list of ways of adding multiple images. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. Have a good day.